This introduction for a Euclid course period applies to periods 1 through 5 of all Euclid courses. Each course is logically structured or broken down into seven periods of study, of which the first five are study periods. This structure is based on the historical practice of having a 14 or 15 week long semester that is organized into seven two week long periods. In the context of distance or online learning, which generally involves taking one course at a time in flex time rather than many courses as would be done on campus, it is important to understand that a study period does not have to last two weeks. The division of all Euclid courses into seven periods is designed to make Euclid courses comparable to on-campus syllabi and also to allow each student to move forward at the best possible pace in the context of his or her own life. As a guideline, we suggest that for a three-credit course, the total duration of the seven periods should be under one month. On this basis, a 36-credit program would last 36 months or three years. The optimal duration would be to cover two study periods each week, with period 6 and 7 considered as one. This represents six weeks for a three-credit course, and therefore a year and a half for a 36-credit master's degree program. This is suitable for full-time students. If you cover one study period per week, a master's degree will take just under three years to complete. For this student period, you will be assigned a selection of material to study, presented in the form of one or more PDFs, and which can be supplemented by audio and video material. Technically, it is possible to break down a period, also called a lesson in the LMS, into topics. However, Euclid's approach is to avoid this process of further subdivision of a course. As a norm, Euclid instructors place all the study material for a given period on a single page, which is the course period page. In most cases, you will be given a full textbook or chapter selections from a textbook to study during the period. If you live in a region where you have access to a public university library or a book delivery vendor such as Amazon, you should have ordered a physical copy of the assigned textbooks during the previous course, so as to have everything on hand when the course begins. A convenient ebook format, such as Kindle, may also be available to purchase or rent. If you are a student living in a remote area with very difficult access to these options, the PDF of the textbook is provided in lower quality clear scan PDF format only for the duration of the course and under strict copyright honor code guidelines. In this case, you may click on the download PDF button to obtain the study material. In most cases, MP3 study material is also downloadable with strict copyright honor code guidelines, whereas video material can only be streamed. Students whose internet connection is too slow to handle video streaming should ask permission to use the video transcript when available as a substitute. Studying the period material means taking notes while reading or listening. We also suggest using the highlighting and commenting functions in a suitable PDF reader, such as Qt PDF Professional. This process will help you do four critical things. One, identify possible questions for the quiz to be created in period six. Two, identify possible key concepts that you will have to discuss during the oral examination. Three, Identify key concepts that you want to discuss and interact with in your response paper. And four, identify possible citations to be used in your major paper. After studying the assigned material for the period, your standard end of period assignment is to write a response paper which serves to document your academic progress. 
Response papers are written on the approved Euclid template and should be both interactive and personal. Sample response papers are available and will help new students understand what is expected. It is permissible and even recommended to use the parenthetical or in-text mode of citation for response papers. The conclusion, in particular, should be personal and use the first person, I. Explain what you found to be new, practical, difficult, problematic, controversial, etc. in the assigned material. You should also explain how the learning objectives have been met by means of this material. The Euclid LMS system will allow you to upload your assignment and you should indeed do so when ready. This means that you should always be using the Euclid paper submission checklist to make sure that your submission will meet Euclid standards. In addition to uploading the assignment, you should also email it in Word and if possible PDF format to the instructor with copy to the faculty coordinator. Once the response paper has been approved, you may proceed to the next this introduction period. for a Euclid course period. This introduction for a Euclid course